so let's discuss this numerical compute the dft of the following sequence x of n is equals to this is the sequence 1 j minus 1 n minus j so in this we will use the formula method okay let's discuss the formula method first so you have to uh, compute the dft discrete fourier transform as already discussed in the previous video uh, discrete Fourier transform is used to transform x of n to x of k so this was the basics so now we will apply directly the formula that is x of k is equals to summation of n is equals to 0 summation of n is equals to 0 to n minus 1 x of n into e raised to minus j 2 pi n k upon n ok so in this n is the length of the sequence that I will calculate 1 2 3 4 the length of the sequence is 4 so n is 4 now I will write x of k is equals to summation of n is equals to 0 to how much n minus 1 that is 4 minus 1 that means 3 x of n e raised to minus j 2 pi n k upon capital N that is length of the sequence is 4 I will write here 4 so this is the x of k now let's calculate the values so my k values will also your k values will also range from 0 1 2 up till n minus 1 that is 4 minus 1 that is 0 1 2 3 so my k values are 0 1 2 3 after that I will just for k is equals to 0 I will calculate for k is equals to 0 that means in place of k I will write 0 so x of 0 is equals to summation of n is equals to 0 to 3 x of n in place of n I will write n is also ranging from 0 1 2 3 ok so I will write x of 0 multiplied by e raised to minus j 2 pi my k is 0 right 2 pi n into 0 upon 4 k is 0 then addition plus there is summation so I will just add the terms so x of 1 now we will take x of 1 in place of n you will I am taking 1 x of 1 then formula e raised to minus j 2 pi n k n and my k value is what 1 my k value is 0 ok I am writing for k is equals to 0 so this will be 0 upon 4 plus x of 2 you will write e raised to minus j 2 pi n k is 0 so into 0 by 4 ok plus x of 3 e raised to minus j 2 pi n k value is 0 upon 4 so like this you have written the whole thing now you need to understand that x of 0 multiplied by e raised to 0 into anything is 0 so e raised to 0 will come over here e raised to 0 plus x of 1 what is e here is here it is also 0 so e raised to 0 plus x of 2 e raised to 0 plus x of 3 e raised to 0 why e raised to 0 because see this whole term will become 0 and e raised to 0 ok so I am writing e raised to 0 like this now x of 0 see this in the question you have the values 1 j minus 1 and j the first term represents x of 0 second x of 1 x of 2 and x of 3 so my x of 0 value is 1 so I will write here 1 1 into e raised to 0 that is 1 again okay plus x of 1 what is my x of 1 this j so I will write here j e raised to 0 is 1 again what is my x of 2 see here minus 1 so I will write here minus 1 e raised to 0 is 1 okay then x of 3 plus x of 3 is minus j so minus j into e raised to 0 is 1 so writing this properly it will give 1 into 1 1 plus j then minus 1 and here you have minus j
so this value comes out to be see this j n minus j cancel 1 and minus 1 cancel so 0 so this is the value of x of 0 highlight this value x of 0 now we will substitute when this was for k is equals to 0 x of x of k that means x of 0 is 0 now for k is equals to 1 we will again repeat the same procedure for k value 1 so in place of k you will substitute 1 so x of 1 is equals to in place of k you, in this formula in place of k you will substitute 1 and then write the formula as it is summation of n is equals to 0 to how much here you have 3 x of n into e raised to minus j 2 pi n k upon 4 okay after this let's solve this sum now i will substitute x of n values my n is 0 1 2 3 i will substitute it over here in this equation so here you will get x of 0 into e raised to minus j 2 pi n k k value is 1 say this k value is 1 so 2 pi n k is 1 upon 4 plus x of 1 into e raised to minus j 2 pi n k upon 4 now my n is also 1 over here so i will write in place of n 1 after that x of 2 e raised to minus j 2 pi n 2 pi n k k value is 1 upon n that is 4 plus the last term x of 3 e raised to minus j 2 pi n k right formula is 2 pi n k so n is 3 into 1 upon 4 k is 1 so writing this your n is 0 so this term will become e raised this whole term will become 0 because n is 0 so e raised to 0 is 1 you know that the next step will write then x of 1 then e raised to e raised to minus j pi by 2 will come after simplifying i have just cancelled two ones and two two size four so one pi by two will come over here and then plus x of two multiplied by four say this two twos are will become four and denominator you have four so four and four gets cancelled so only thing will left e raised to minus j pi will be there after that plus x of 3 you have e raised to here you can see 3 multiplied by 2 is 6 and in the denominator you have 4 so 2 2 is a 4 2 3 is a 6 so you will have 3 by 2 so e raised to minus j 3 3 pi by 2 you will have okay after simplifying this Uh, here you have here you have six pi six here you have six pi upon four so two two is a four two three is a six three pi by two you will have right so you have just written this so like this you have completed and now you will write x of zero here you have x of zero as one so write here one multiplied by e raised to zero gives you one okay e raised to zero will give you one after that write the value of x of 1 what is your x of 1 x of 1 is j so write here j multiplied by e raised to minus j pi by 2 okay then what is your x of 3 what is your x of 2 x of 2 is minus 1 so write here minus 1 into e raised to minus j pi after that what is your x of 3 x of 3 is minus j substitute minus j over here into e raised to minus j 
3 pi by 2 after this after this thing you will what you will do see this e raised to minus j theta this is your pi by 2 this is a uh, angle so what is the formula i am explaining you e raised to minus j theta will give you cos theta minus j sin theta so this formula will apply it over here and so we will have in the next step so 1 into 1 is 1 plus j j you write it like this and in the bracket open a bracket and e raised to minus j pi by 2 so this is similar to this e raised to minus j theta and theta is pi by 2 right here cos of in place of theta you will write the angle cos pi by 2 okay minus j m sin pi by 2 after writing this close the bracket then moving ahead then write minus 1 and then you can see there is a e raised to minus j pi so again I will use this particular formula and write it cos of pi minus j sin pi got this after that you have minus j write minus j in bracket and again open a open one bracket and you will write e raised to j theta apply this formula so cos of theta here your theta value is 3 pi by 2 so write here cos 3 pi by 2 minus j sin of 3 pi by 2 after writing this you have completed writing all the values now we'll solve it further okay so now as you can now we have to substitute the values of of this j what is cos pi by 2 that is cos 90 what is cos 90 cos 90 gives you how much 1 so write here 1 minus j sin pi by 2 means sin 90 gives you 0 so j 0 you will write it like this minus 1 you will write it okay so again we will solve this particular bracket cos pi the cos pi value one simple method either you go with your calculator just if you are not uh, if you are not knowing this values just put your calculator just put your calculator in radian mode and then just type I want to find cos pi that is cos pi and you can see minus 1 is the value of cos pi so using the calculator you can find this values easily okay so cos pi is minus 1 so minus 1 minus let's do um, this thing and you have sin pi your sin pi value is you will write minus j you will write it over here and sin pi value you have to calculate so what is your sin pi value is 0 so you will write here 0 okay close the brackets again you write it minus j in a bracket and we will solve for this okay cos 3 pi by 2 what is cos of 3 pi by 2 i don't know let's put it in your calculator and we will find the value okay what is cos 3 pi by 2 it is showing 0 so right here 0 minus j sin 3 pi by 2 just change the angle sin 3 by pi sin 3 pi by 2 plus equal to sin it's minus 1 okay my sin 3 pi by 2 is minus j minus 1 after writing it properly now you can open the brackets and solve this 1 plus multiply this okay so j is 0 so it will come j into 1 will give you j then minus 1 you have okay and j is 0 so minus in 1 into 1 is 1 minus minus plus so you'll write here plus 1 again minus j here you have j term right so here you write minus j inside the bracket as you can see minus minus will give you positive so j positive j okay so now again you can write 1 plus j plus 1 and then you have your 
minus you will multiply here you will get minus j square okay and we will get this line so we have done mistake what is cos pi by 2 cos pi by 2 is 0 and sin pi by 2 is 1 so in place of this you make a correction over here so you will get j term okay j term here so j into j will give you j square okay so plus j square will come oh no minus j square will come over here so 1 minus j square plus 1 and this is perfect so here you have to change the sign minus and j square after that you will get this equation 1 j square is uh, what is your j square j square is minus 1 in place of j square right here minus 1 so minus and minus 1 plus 1 and j square will give you minus 1 after writing this you will get your x1 value as 4 so like this you can solve and get your x1 value similarly now we are, we are we will go and solve for k is equals to 2 and then for k is equals to 3 we will solve okay so uh, like this you can solve for k is equals to 2 and for k is equals to 3 also so i will just show you the calculation for k is equals to 2 for k is equals to 2 just substitute in place of k you can substitute k is equals to 2 and uh, like discussed before you can solve it like this okay now i want you to solve for k is equal to 2 and k is equal to 3 by yourself and check the values i will just show you the answer how to solve this and this is for k is equals to 3 and your answer is 0 okay we just solve this and after getting all the values what you will do you will write directly the final answer here that is discrete Fourier transform that is x of k uh, then you will write the first for k is equals to 0 your value is 0 and then for k is equals to 2 your value is 4 so 0 comma 4 0 comma 4 comma 0 comma 0 for other values of k this is for k is equals to 0 this is for k is equals to 1 this is for k is equals to 2 this is for k is equals to 3 after calculating you will get your final answer that is discrete Fourier transform x of k you got this like this you will solve this particular sum and if you want to find the magnitude spectrum if you want to find the magnitude spectrum you just have to take the model mod in that you have uh, under root of real part square real part square plus imaginary part square so in this above values you have only have the real part and that is for x of 1 this is for x of 0 x of 1 so real part is 4 only so real part square so square root and square will cancel so x of 1 is equal to 4 so like this you can draw the magnitude spectrum this is 0 1 2 3 for 1 you have 4 okay this is your 4 so when you have 4 and just connect all the points this is 0 this is 0 this is 4 this is this represents your magnitude spectrum and for phase spectrum you have to calculate the angle in order to calculate the angle the formula is given as tan inverse imaginary part upon real part so your imaginary part upon real part so in this you have tan inverse imaginary part is not there real part is 4 so tan inverse 0 by 4 that is 0 so your space phase spectrum will be 0 for all values yeah.